Hi, it's me again. And you find me today angry. Actually, probably beyond angry, I'm absolutely raging about something I saw on the news yesterday. And I'm sure many of you also, also saw it. Absolute subhuman scum on the news. And uh, I don't know exactly what I'm going to say here, but probably fair, fair warning, I'm probably going to swear. No, I'm definitely going to swear. Have a look at this clip. This is what I'm talking about. Perhaps, you know, one of the reasons that I feel so strongly about the importance of this inquiry and why I'm so emotionally in committed to making sure that it's a success with full transparency and total brutal honesty in answering your questions to get to the bottom of this is because these because of these uh, th this huge error in the doctrine that the UK and by the way the whole Western world had uh, in how to tackle a uh, a pandemic and that that flawed doctrine underpinned many of the problems that made it extremely difficult to respond and if I may say so I am profoundly sorry for the impact that had. I'm profoundly sorry for each death that has occurred. And I also understand why, for some, it will be hard to take that apology from me. I understand that. I get it. So, this human being, if you can even call him that, wants to offer us an apology. Does he a sincere and heartfelt apology? I'll tell you what you can do with your apology, Mr. Hancock. Shove it straight up your ass. I don't want to hear it. I don't think anyone wants to hear it. And it was the least convincing apology of them all. Is there any human emotion in that? Is this man capable of a human emotion? It doesn't look like it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear that you're sorry. You came up with these shitty rules that you wouldn't even follow yourself or your stupid posh mates also wouldn't follow. And when I think about what you've just said, the only thing that comes to mind is one of the most upsetting things I've ever seen on the internet. I remember seeing this clip on the news at the time and I cried and he caused this. And it's hard to find now, this clip. It's a hard one to find. It wasn't easy. It's like they want you to forget this happened. You remember this clip? It's my privilege to have been asked to conduct our service today to celebrate the life of Alan Wright. I therefore offer you all a very warm welcome as we unite in love and friendship to... Is that not one of the most upsetting things you've ever seen? I can't imagine being at a family funeral and that happened. I can't even comfort my own mother. But I tell you something, they're lucky it didn't happen at one of my family because I wouldn't have moved and no one would have been told what to do by that heartless, heartless bloke at the funeral part of following rules set by a government that wouldn't even follow their own rules. So you've got Matt Hancock off shagging, left, right and bloody centre. You've got his floppy-haired twat of a mate, Boris, who's having parties left, right and centre where you can't even see your own mum. You've got, who's the other one as well, who went off driving about? What was his bloody name that's going to wind me up? Hold on. Dominic bloody Cummings. Off driving about, flouting his own rules. Because he wanted to test his eyesight, testing your eyesight is best done by driving a motor vehicle. No, so you can shove your apology up your arm. Shove it, shove it. You caused things like this. This was you. You're apologising for this, are you? This was you, Hancock. Look at this clip. So let's just make this very clear. My nan, my 97-year-old nan here, who we have taken from the care home because we haven't seen her for nine months, is now being taken back by force to her care home. My mother has been arrested. My mother is in the back of a car here. She is a nurse. 
She is a fully qualified nurse who is wishing to care for her own mother. And here we have an incredible use of police time to take my 97-year-old grandmother back into a care home where she is deteriorating, where we haven't been able to see her for nine months. Now, I love you, and we are going to fight for you. Imagine that heartbreak. Imagine that was you and your family. Because I don't want to imagine it. It's too painful. You caused that. You caused that by setting rules that you didn't want to follow yourself. And now you want to apologise to us. Fuck off. Absolutely shove it. And it gets worse in this clip. Look at this. Look at this. And tell me this man isn't a complete psychopath that's not possible of having human emotion. Look at this. But the absolutely central problem with the planning in the UK was that the doctrine was wrong. And if I, maybe I should set this out now. In my, I've written it in my written statement. The attitude, the doctrine of the UK was to plan for the consequences of a disaster. Can we buy enough body bags? Where are we going to bury the dead? And that was completely wrong. His main thoughts were getting enough body bags and enough burial places and how to deal with all the bodies. That was his main thoughts. Psychopath. Psychopath. So take your apology and fuck off with it. I never want to see you on the telly again. I never want to hear from your existence again. Unless, of course, you're going to prison. Then I'll quite happily read the story and watch the news on that. Otherwise, go away, mate. And take your posh mates with you. Because you're going to go and walk into a nice big flash job anyway. Aren't you? Because you've got all the right connections. So take all your posh, conservative, twatty, lying mates with you and go away forever because you're scum. Absolute scum. How dare he? How dare he? There was endless amounts of heartbreak. Endless. All the stories that you heard, it just tore you apart. You made those rules. You couldn't follow those rules. And you want to apologise I mean, if cheating on your wife isn't bad enough, flouting your own rules you're trying to make us live by, I don't want to hear it. Shove your apology. Shove it. Not interested. What about you? Did you see this? Does he look like he's capable of having a single human emotion to you? Because he doesn't to me. And I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. The man should be in prison. And hopefully, that's where he will end up. Because he's got no place being able to walk the streets and earn a living. Not having it. I'm not having it. Let me know what you think about what you said and what you did down in the comments below. And I'm going to go uh, go and have a sandwich, calm down. It just really wound me up. I uh, just wanted to talk about it. So I'll see you in the next one, whenever that will be. Hit the subscribe button, all of that stuff. Ta-ta.